Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Larry, if you're new to the channel. Uh, tonight we're doing a overnight camping trip in the Arizona high desert. Um, currently, I'm near a town called Wickenburg, which is pretty low in elevation in Arizona. And with Arizona, the lower the elevation, typically the higher the temperatures. And we're looking at probably mid 90s right now. So um, if we go up the mountain into the high desert, we should at least drop 10 degrees. That's the plan. I don't really have a generator with me. So I don't have a way of running an air conditioner and I have my dog Mason with me, so I don't want him to suffer tonight. I'm pretty level where I'm at. I don't know, I'm gonna try moving up just a little bit more. All right, that might be good. Yeah, I'm lined up a little bit more with the fire pit. Ready to get out, buddy? This is Mason, if you guys don't already know. All right, let's get out. some windows opened up cool it down a little bit in here Little Mason boy living his best life right there. Oh, <laughs> come here, <laughs> come here. Hold on, let me back. Let me back the camera out. There you go. Nice outside, huh, bud? Yeah. I almost forget that I have a rug. I'm just not used to having it yet. And today is just perfect because it's not windy at all. I might do my bigger table tonight so I can grill on it. This is like a coffee table that I got from uh, Walmart and it was on clearance for 20 bucks. It's pretty nice, I like it. It's a little dirty from the last time I used it, but I can clean it up. Here we go.
And so I want to thank uh, Ray and Ann for sending this knife. Um, it was on the Amazon Amazon wish list, which is down below in the description. But uh, it's a Jotech, I think is how you pronounce it, and it's a bushcraft style knife. Um, it's just it's real nice, heavy duty, strong blade on it for stuff like this. Uh, it comes with this case that also has a uh, I'm drawing a blank what it's called Farah. Or, uh, something rod. It's basically like flint and steel to start a, a fire, um, which is what we're going to start a fire with tonight. So I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. A little bit of trash in here, but let's put it aside and then I'll haul it out of here when we leave. It hasn't rained in a while, so this should start up pretty quick. Apparently this wood is harder to light than I thought. I'll try a lighter. This is not wanting to light for some reason. I usually have like dryer lint with me, but I just don't have it today. That thing does give off sparks, but I think this would because it's so hard that it's just not wanting to light very well. Even with the direct flame on it. Come on. These leaves are working really good though. So last week um, I was getting ready to edit my video and I used a little SD card out of my, my better camera and uh, I was able to get all the, the video off of it for last week's video, but the SD card fell apart when I pulled it out of my laptop. Um, so I'm not able to use that camera tonight. And that camera is the one I use for like night shots just because it works a lot better at night than, than this one that I'm using in my hand right now. Um, so that's kind of why I'm starting this fire early. I want to get dinner going and things like that before it's too dark just because the video gets really granulated at night with this camera. So just making do with what we got this week. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, the fire's finally taken off. Ooh, she's dirty. I'm gonna have to clean this thing up pretty soon. Wait till we're getting closer into spring because it's um, almost seven o'clock and it's still pretty daylight, which I love having the longer days because something about just sitting out in the evening, I just, I just love it so much. gonna do some boneless chicken thighs tonight it's my, probably my favorite type of chicken to barbecue I hope
hope it cooks all right. It was a little frozen this morning and I thought I thought it out enough, but there's still some cold spots. Well, this fire's going good now. I found some cottonwood sticks. I guess, I think it's cottonwood. I don't know, whatever this tree is right above where we're camping here. Uh, had a couple dead sticks I found and it seems to be lighting up really good now. This firewood I bought, I don't know why, it just doesn't seem to light very well. It doesn't seem to burn very well either. I'm, I'm kind of just trying to get rid of it tonight. Um, although a little part of me wants to save some for the morning to have a fire in the morning, but uh, we'll see. There's plenty of firewood around here that I should be able to harvest if I need to. Anyways, I think the chicken should be ready to flip. Oh yeah. I feel like chicken tonight. Is that a commercial or something? <laughs> yeah. So I had to put Mason back inside. Um, it's just getting cooler and he's been out here for a while and it's just kind of getting evening and now is when like coyotes and stuff come out to start hunting and I just don't want anything to happen to him. So I took him inside and he actually couldn't jump out of my arms fast enough. He was so ready for bed. He's actually up there. He loves looking out the windows. I think it's like his little safe space or something. He just likes being up there and um, feels like the king of the world, I think. <laughs> well, you can see the sun's going down. Just barely got a little daylight left. Probably going to be dark here in about a half an hour. That's all right, though. Dinner's maybe halfway done, and it's just nice out here. I'm enjoying it. I still need to get an extension cord or something for this microwave, but I'll get it eventually. Uh, I think I'm going to do some broccoli tonight. that rolling. Apparently chicken is supposed to be cooked to 165 or at least that's what Google says. I think they're done. People always ask, well, they've been recently asking if my food is cold. <laughs> um, and yeah, a lot of times it is. But there's just something about sitting around a table talking. I don't know. I just like it. So if my food's a little cold, so be it. But uh, I have some more gifts that I want to show you guys. Um, Bear and Mimi, they sent some stuff last week. And they also sent this Smokey the Bear sign. And it's so cool. It was, uh, it was on the, the wish list as well. But I'm thinking this is going to go perfect right up here so i'm going to install that and i think that just looked good kind of in the background so i really appreciate that thank you and thank you so much for the other stuff you sent um now i have two gifts from michelle one of them are these hand warmers it's a pack of 10 hand warmers and she said uh, they would go good in the geo tracker um, like safety box that I'm putting together of all the like the safety equipment things in case I get stranded out off roading alone out in the middle of the desert. So this is a perfect idea. I never even thought about this. So thank you so much for that. Um, and she also sent whoa the pepperoni treats. But uh, first of all, he loves these. Thank you so much. But um 
<laughs> she probably noticed if she watched the last video as well. This is now like his third bag in like three weeks. Plus um, the other bag of treats as well. So he is like totally good on treats for like a year. Because I don't give him treats all the time. Um, he just gets them on occasion. So I, I thank you so much for that. He thanks you so much for that. He loves this stuff. But um, I think he's good on treats for a little while. <laughs> I mean, don't ask him. He'll say keep sending them but but uh you know anyways and then uh <laughs> so uh jason he actually i'm pretty sure his name is jason yeah jason <laughs> i don't know i'm losing it here he uh sent some seasonings that is like his own brand it's called jdobo and i guess i should have cooked it with the chicken but i didn't, didn't even think about it um there's a mellow and then this one doesn't have anything on it but i assume it's like a hotter version I don't know either way um he sent a card as well but he's on facebook instagram tiktok whatever and it's j dobo co which is kind of a cool name and uh yeah i appreciate it i'll have to definitely try it out on the next video um yeah thank you so much i'm gonna go ahead and finish this before it gets too cold and then we're gonna go sit out by the fire and we're gonna talk out there by the fire I, I know you guys probably have a lot of questions with the title of this video. So, um, yeah, we'll talk about it out there. Keep hearing something off in this direction over here. I'm sure it's nothing. I know there's some sort of animal over there, but I just want to know what it is. It's probably just a cow, but I can't see it. I just keep hearing it. So I think it's time that we talk about what it is that we're here to talk about. Um, I think a lot of people misunderstood things that I was talking about last week in my video when I said YouTube changed, but um, just the very quick sum up in case you didn't catch last week's video. There's the home screen on YouTube when you click onto it. Um, the big, big channels are always going to be on that home screen, always. And then uh, now they've been putting a lot more new channels, channels that aren't even monetized. And I think they're just trying to fill up space at the bottom. They're calling it, or they're using it as like, a, we're just giving these new channels a, a, a day in the sun to shine so they can potentially become big channels. And I think a lot of that has to do with the younger generations needing like instant gratification. They don't want to have to work at something for two and a half, three years to, to get any kind of um, achievement. So maybe they're just changing because of the times. Who knows? But either way, it's hurting a lot of um, medium-sized channels. I keep hearing it, but I don't see it. Uh, a lot of medium-sized channels. And, uh, you know, a lot of us, myself included, are, are trying, we have to like balance. We have to work a real job as much as we can and still try to devote enough time towards YouTube in order to achieve our goal, which is, you know, full-time YouTube. It just kind of hurts us because a lot of these medium channels, especially like myself, is just, it's, it's getting closer to becoming full-time. And now because we're sharing that front page with channels that they're just, they're just taking up space. I mean, don't get me wrong. There are some really good small channels. I love finding small channels. Don't get me wrong. Please don't take it as like, I'm, I'm saying a small channel is not worth it. Um, I love finding like channels that are smaller and just seeing the ones that have potential to grow and stuff like that. But, um, but because of how the system's working, they can get all these views on those, those videos, but they're never going to get paid anything. You guys still have to sit through commercials and then, you know, all like us medium sized channels are now fighting for less spots to be on that home screen. So we are the ones that are suffering 
because we just now have to tack on more time, make more videos, try harder, uh, which, you know, I'm sure we all are anyways, but it's just going to set us back a little bit. That's, that's where I'm at. That's, that's my interpretation with what's going on right now. I could be wrong, whatever. But, um, I just think it's kind of gotten to a point where I think it's time. I think it's time that I let you know that I'm not quitting. <laughs> so many people thought I was quitting on the last video. Um, just because I have a bad day or I complain about something, it doesn't mean I'm going to quit. I'm not that type of person. Like, there's always going to be struggles. I'm always going to have things I'm working on or dealing with or you know, ups and down in the, in, in my moods or whatever. And I feel like that's normal. And, uh, I'm just trying to share you guys, share with you guys, like my life and my personality to as true as I can be on camera. Um, and yeah, there's going to be bad videos. It's going to be good videos. It's going to be sad, happy, whatever, all, all over the place. And, Yes, last week I was a little frustrated with YouTube, but um, since then I'm just in a better mindset and I'm just going to have to use that setback as just motivation to try even harder. So you guys don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, I don't know. I feel a lot better now that that's off my chest. <laughs> Good morning, bud. You just wanted to sit on the couch, huh? Yep. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> just being goofy, sorry. Uh, it's a perfect day out. I, I don't know. Cows are outside. Cow, cows are outside. I'm having issues with words again today. <laughs> and no, I have not been drinking. Somebody said they noticed that I slur my words when I'm drinking. And uh, I don't drink that much. Like if I drink a beer, it's like one, maybe two in a night. So uh, unless I'm an extreme lightweight, I don't think that's it. I think I just, um, I think I just think faster than I can talk or something. I don't know. Either way. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I just, I've been enjoying the morning. The birds are chirping, the cows are outside and the weather's perfect, a little breeze. I just, I don't know. I don't, I just don't get tired of this. I love it. Every, t every, every day when I am out here camping and I don't know. That's why I just know it's right. You know, I've gone through so many different hobbies and things in my life. And um, I still am not tired of camping, even though I camp all the time. I, I just don't get tired of it. I just, I love it. Um, anyways. Uh, oh, so I, I slept good last night. And in fact, uh, well, there was one issue. I was letting Mason out. It was about 1030. And I always scan the area with my flashlight, make sure that there's no animals around or anything. And uh, I didn't see anything. So I just, I let him out. And then I continued to like scan the area. And uh, all of a sudden I see like these big old eyes peering at me from off in the distance. And of course I grabbed Mason, threw him inside. I didn't throw him, but I put him inside. And just shut the door, went to bed, didn't have any issues. And then this morning I went out and I looked and it's in that same direction where I kept hearing sounds last night. So I don't know if that was the same animal or what. I just assumed it was a coyote sitting up on a hill over here or something. But when I went out this morning, I looked right where the eyes were at. Um, there's not really a hill right there. There's a big tree. So I assume it was an owl. 
and owls are massive like they're bigger than mason so um, they could easily swoop down and take mason and uh and i know that owls like to stay in an area so like in one then there's they don't move around a whole lot you know so they kind of like pick their home and they kind of stay there so I, i'm definitely going to be cautious if i come back here again um because a couple weeks ago i let mason out and this is a different location and it was in in town where i was kind of staying for work and uh just middle of town uh, i guess i just i'm a little less leery when it's in the middle of town than i am when i'm out in the middle of the forest but i was out there and it was dark and i see something like swooping down from the sky and i look up and it was an owl so i go and i like jump over mason and the owl just changed his course and took off and uh yeah i kind of freaked me out because i never think of owls i always think of like hawks which I, you know i don't know owl it just i never think about owls but everything in arizona there's so much in arizona that just wants to sting you or kill you so um you just always you just don't know i mean you try your best but i mean it could be a rattlesnake popping out of some grass it could be um, poisonous spiders scorpions um, owls hawks and then of course you got all the big animals like coyotes bobcats mountain lions bears um, there's just a lot that you don't want interacting with a little dog but i try my best it's obviously a safety's priority number one with me and um if i would have had to wrestle that owl down i would have wrestled him down <laughs> <laughs> uh and uh i was i was trying to think of like a play on words like uh it doesn't matter anyways <laughs> uh like who just took you down <laughs> um but yeah i mean it's it's not anything to joke about but i know a lot of you guys are worried about his safety and i'm always out looking around making sure he's safe but um, just all I can do is the best is like the best I can do is, is all I can do right all right got my bacon cooked already got my eggs frying I think I'm gonna try a little bit of this J Dobo mellow I don't know if it'll be good on eggs but we're sure gonna try it it smells good How's my little mason boy doing? Hmm? Yeah. Got the little window open over there and the vent open and he's just up here enjoying the day. You can see his tail like blowing in the breeze a little bit. <laughs> you enjoying the morning, bud? Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, there it is. All right. <clears throat> Let's try this out. Wow, that's actually really good. Wow. Yeah, thank you, Jason, for sending that. That's, I love that seasoning. That's really good. So, uh, a couple quick updates. Um, I'm still trying to find a manufacturer slash supplier or whatever of flags because I know a lot of people are interested in the, uh, the flag that I made that has the channel logo on there. And obviously I want to make one that has the Mason fan club logo on it, but, uh, let me know in the, in the description below, if you'd be interested in a flag like that. But I'm still working on it. What I'm trying to do, I'm trying to find like a third party that could take the orders, make the flag, and ship it out so I don't have to like sit on a bunch of stock. Kind of like the merchandise down below um, near the description. All those shirts and stuff like that. Like I don't have that stuff in stock. That company is just a third party that takes it. And then, um, and then the channel gets a little bit of commission on all those products that are being sold. So 
Uh, just trying to find something like that for the flag. Just haven't found anything yet. And then, um, oh, and then the, the big group meetup. I still want to do that. I had so much fun at the truck camper rally. So I want to try to do another big meetup here in Arizona. And on the Facebook group, already there shows you know, a lot of people showing interest. So I don't know if there's anybody else that's not on the Facebook group that would be interested um, if they had maybe like a three week notice on when it would be and if it's somewhere near like central arizona central or northern arizona just depends on the weather um so let me know too if you'd be interested in that but that's still in the works um i'm thinking maybe we could also have people bring their like off-road vehicles or quads or side by side whatever you got and then maybe we can do like a big trail run day or something like that and just go explore the desert and Obviously, I'll be shooting a video, so a lot of you guys will be in the video if you want to be. All right, well, uh, hope you guys had as much fun as I did. It was just a nice little relaxing camping trip. Uh, I just saw a coyote actually run out in front of me. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next week. And until then, I'll see you next time. Thanks, bye.